When aspirin is synthesized, the reaction conditions must be carefully chosen. The optimum conditions should give a high yield at a low cost. To find the optimal conditions, we need to look closely at the chemistry of the reaction. We can then design experiments to change one variable at a time to see what effect it has on the yield. For aspirin, we can change the catalyst, temperature and time. In this reaction, we have two reactants, 2-hydroxybenzoic acid and ethanoic anhydride. Molecules of these compounds are constantly colliding, but not all of these collisions result in a reaction. The success of each collision is determined by the orientation and energy of the reactants. If the reactants are in the wrong orientation, then the collision is unsuccessful and the reaction does not occur. The reactants must collide in the correct orientation for the collision to be successful. The reactants must also collide with enough energy to react. The minimum energy needed is called the activation energy. Increasing the temperature increases the energy of the reactants. The effects of increasing temperature on energy can be seen from the Boltzmann distribution. As the temperature increases, more molecules have an energy greater than the activation energy. However, increasing the temperature too much can result in unwanted side reactions or damage to the products. This is particularly important in industrial-scale pharmaceutical production, where high purity is required. Catalysts increase the rate of a reaction by providing an alternative reaction pathway that has lower activation energy. Only a small amount of catalyst is needed because it is regenerated during the reaction. They are very useful in industrial processes as they allow large-scale reactions to be carried out at lower temperatures or in less time. After investigating the reaction, you should have enough data to say which reaction conditions give the highest yield. However, the job of determining the optimal reaction conditions does not stop there. Economic factors must also be considered. The optimal reaction conditions are a compromise between maximising the yield and minimising the cost of time, energy and raw materials. In this level, you'll get to vary the reaction time, temperature and catalyst in order to work out the optimal conditions for the reaction.